What's up guys, it's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports and we have another prize picks video for you tonight. Um, we're gonna be talking about the Thursday night slate, September 20th, uh, but before we do, uh, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, super easy for you, helps us out a lot, we really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, uh, let's start off with our recaps from Sunday and Monday. All right, so for starters on Sunday, I had Brandon Ayuk, uh, four and a half uh, res uh, receptions. He went three for six. Uh, he should have probably hit that. I think if he wouldn't have gotten injured, um, he would have probably hit that. But he did have the opportunity with the targets. Um, I also had Brees Hall, 37 and a half rushing yards. I took more on that as well. Um, Brees also should have had the opportunity to hit this. Uh, he only got four um, attempts and he was clearly pretty frustrated. I, I doubt we see um, him with that, you know, small amount of carries this upcoming week. But yeah, he didn't hit his. Um, but then uh, my James Cook prop hit 15 and a half receiving yards, took more on that one. He went for 36. So what'd you have, Jordan? Yeah, man, uh, we had a good day on Sunday over here. Um, I took David Montgomery to get over 13 and a half rushing attempts. Uh, he had 16 before he got hurt. He would have went for over 20 um, had he not gotten hurt. That was disappointing to see, but he hit it. That's the most important part. Um, we also took Jake Ferguson to go over two and a half receptions. That was a crazy square. They took it off like right after we posted that video. So I hope some of you guys got that. Uh, he had three, so he hit that as well. And then we took Micah Parsons for over half a sack. And they even raised the line to 0.75. I don't know what that would do against Micah Parsons. He had two. So we went three for three on our picks for Sunday. And yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so for Monday, I had uh, Rashid Shahid more than 36 and a half receiving yards. Uh, he went for 63. Um, he seems, I, I think that line was just way too low for him with the way he's been gelling yeah. with uh, Derek Carr. Um, I also had uh, Nick Chubb, 12 and a half receiving yards. I took more on that. Um, you know, he got injured. He didn't really have any targets even before he went down, but obviously the injury kind of kept us from uh, him hitting that line a little bit. Um, then I took Deshaun Watson, 24 and a half rushing yards for more. He went for 22, um, you know, just missed it. But but yeah, unfortunately, that one didn't hit. Yeah. Um, for me, Monday was a terrible, terrible one. Um, it was kind of a weird games, honestly, the way they played out. They kind of were defensive heavy in both games. Uh, so there wasn't a lot going on. Uh, I took Derek Carr's rushing yards. He needed three and a half. He had negative four. <laughs> so that was a bad one there. We took Allen Robinson receiving yards. For over 31 and a half and he had 12 uh he was getting strapped everywhere then we took kenny pickett he needed over 18 and a half completions and he had 15 uh it was just a crazy game i mean that game was it was violent it was physical and it was just a defensive game so i mean can't blame everything but definitely didn't go the way we wanted it to so yeah man let's uh let's hop into this New week, new picks. We're gonna get you guys on the right track here, starting with this video. So we'll start with your picks, man. Yeah, so, you know, single game slate, a little tricky. Um, we wanna keep uh, getting six picks out, you know, for you guys though, uh, when we can, cause that's the way we like to play. So we wanna give you at least six. Um, yeah, so my first pick is uh, Darren Waller. I'm gonna take uh, his receiving yards for more. Um, might be tricky with you know san francisco's elite defense but i think with um you know if you look at the way his uh, usage has been getting bumped up each week plus with uh barkley out i think um you know it's going to be him and uh the other pass catchers for the most part um i don't think that there's going to be many targets to the running back with uh, out barkley there maybe there will be but i still feel like waller can hit that um and then uh, my next pick is uh, actually Daniel Jones. I'm taking his rushing yards. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, running for his life pretty much with uh, an elite defense on the other side there. And he's fast. He tends to, um, you know, get some positive yardage pretty regularly when he's scrambling. Uh, so I feel good about taking that one. And then my last pick is um, Elijah Mitchell. Where are you at? There you go rushing yards um this one's pretty simple to me i think the 49ers are a lot better than the giants and i think that they're gonna get a lead and run the ball a lot and he hit this last week so i would imagine he has an even better chance of hitting it this week uh so yeah man that's my three picks what do you got for us 
Sweet. Yeah, so um, starting off with me, uh, I'm going to start with Debo Samuel. I'm taking him for over four and a half receptions. I like this line anyway, but I like it even more if Brandon Ayuk isn't playing. I hope he is because I have him on my fantasy team. <laughs> but um, I like this line either way. And then um, for my second pick, I'm going to be taking Darius Slayton. Um, like he said, it's going to be tricky with the San Francisco defense, but they're going to have to throw to someone. Daniel Jones can't do everything, and he's been targeting Darius Slayton a lot. He hit this against Arizona. He didn't hit it against Dallas, but by no means do I think uh, the Niners DBs are on the level of Dallas. So I think he can at least get us 35. Um, and then for my last one, I'm taking Brock Purdy to throw for more than one and a half touchdowns. Um, I think they're going to just be scoring on the Giants everywhere. And uh, I think this is a pretty easy line. So feeling pretty comfortable with these three picks, man. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, with what we're working with, if you're looking to get six picks, these would definitely be the six I would be choosing on this slate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you guys, good luck on Thursday night. Um, we'll be getting the Sunday and Monday videos out for you um, by Friday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're aware when we drop our next videos. Good luck. Good luck, guys.